everybody, this is PJ Riley from Lancaster Archery in our video studio today with a brand new product for you, brand new series of products, I should probably say. We are looking at the HHA Tetra Rise X3, and there's also the Max Rise X3, but what's new is that X3. We'll tell you about the differences between the two sites. Um, but X3, this is going to be now our three-pin site from the folks at HHA. And in the configuration that I like the best. Um, I like your pins to be stacked horizontally. Uh, you know, vertically, a single pin, absolutely, that's fine, easy enough. Double pin, hmm, if you have two vertically stacked, that's okay, that's not bad, but when you get to those three pins vertically stacked, I don't like that because that third pin, if you have to use that one, you're covering a bunch of stuff with those other two pins above it. So for three pin, if you're going three pin, I like to have them uh, stacked horizontally like this. So what we have here is there's going to be four mounting options for the HHA Tetra Rise X3 or Tetra Max Rise X3. And what you're gonna have is you're gonna have uh, a short bar dovetail. This is gonna give you mounting options from four to five inches. There's gonna be, and I don't have the long bar, but there's gonna be a long bar dovetail that's gonna go from four to seven inches. Then you're gonna have the Picatinny mount and then over here on the end, you're gonna have your fixed mount. That's one you just bolt directly to the site and there's nothing to remove. Any of the dovetails, the long bar or the short bar, those will work with the bridge lock cutouts. Matthews Bose currently is the only one to have this, the bridge lock mounting option. Um, these dovetails will fit that and you will have sufficient right or left adjustment. Uh, with a lot of sites, if you're a right-handed archer, you try and put the dovetail into the bridge lock and you can't move the sight far enough to the right for a right-handed, left for a left-handed. With the uh, HHA series, with the Tetra Rise and Tetra Max Rise X3, you will have sufficient right adjustment left for left-handed archers. Let's talk about the difference, actually, between the uh, Tetra Rise X3 and the Max Rise X3. Right here I have the Tetra Rise X3 and what it is is you're going to see the telltale sign is going to be this um, star-like uh, adjustment wheel here versus the Max Rise you're going to have the round wheel and it's going to come with a separate wheel. Where the extra wheel comes in, you can see here, I have my setup tape on this one. So I can use this when I'm trying to figure out what my sight tape is gonna be, have my setup wheel. Uh, once I figure out what my actual sight tape is gonna be, I can just pop this one off, put my sight tape on this wheel, and install that on there. So that's super handy to be able to do that. You know, with the um, Tetra Rise, you're just gonna have to take the uh, set up tape off and then put your actual sight tape right on the same wheel. No big deal, but that's just the difference there, uh, getting that extra sight wheel. So, but let's talk about these three pins in here. Um, you will have, you can see they are all bladed pins in there. Those blades are nice. Those things don't bend. You get a stick in there, it's going to hold it in place. Each one of those is adjustable right here on the side. Standard, this is old school for pin adjustments. You just loosen that, raise it or lower it to get your pins in the position where you want. Now, coming over to the sight wheel, you can see here I have three different sight indicators so I can know where every one of these pins are no matter where I am on the wheel. You can see this huge rail so the adjustment is there. You can move these indicators wherever you want depending on where these pins are. For me personally what I'm going to do I'm going to go 20, 30, 40. I'm going to set each one of my indicators for that 20, 30, 40. Obviously I'm going to set it up to where I'm in the 
maximum up position, get my scope positioned, 20, 30, 40. That's how I'm going to set mine. And then I'm going to be able to know where every pin is as I move this, um, the sight wheel up and down. Now, speaking of that, one of the great things about this series of sights from HHA is that I can, I can set my uh, rail, my vertical rail, all the way up, and then I have a separate adjustment for my scope. If these two are tied together, you know, you may not be able to start with 20 yards all the way in the up position. You are going to have to adjust that depending on your peep height, lots of different things, arrow speed to get that rail. But because these, because you can set the scope uh, separate from the vertical rail, I can push this all the way up. And now to set my 20 yard pin, I've got these two screws right here. There's one there and one there. And I can just slide that scope up and down on that vertical rail. And while we're on the topic of that, this is something HHA figured out a couple years ago, that my second axis adjustment is separate from my vertical adjustment. So these two screws here allow me to adjust that uh, scope up or down. Then once that's set where I want it, I use these sc two screws to adjust my second axis. That's adjusting the scope this way. So that once I get that second axis set, then if I need to make a change vertically, with my scope mount, I can do that and I don't have to go back and re-level my second axis. So that's a great feature HHA came out with. Um, your other adjustments, while we're here looking at this part, this is gonna be your windage. It's a click system there. You're gonna click through to move that scope in and out. You're also, as I mentioned, you know, having enough right adjustment for that bridge lock. You can also make big adjustments by loosening that screw and then I can change the position. You can see these lines here. I can move that whole bar in or out. And then this adjustment in here moves that silver bar on the inside. So you've got two adjustments for your windage. So you know you're going to have enough adjustment no matter what bow you put this on. Your uh, elevation, simple. You got your lock here. Turn that and then this moves up and down. HHA, you can see, has those has great set of gears there. There's no slop in this. When I'm moving this up and down, it's very crisp, sliding up and down the scale there. I don't feel any slop in there. There's no wiggle. It just moves. If I wiggle it, it moves, you know, up or down. That's what you want. You don't want to wiggle it and nothing happens. Um, so then when I get it to where I want it, you can lock it in place or some something I've noticed is that, you know, if I'm thinking I'm going to have to adjust bow hunting or something and let's say I want to be able to just go to the wheel, make my adjustment and hunt. I don't necessarily want to do two movements uh, to unlock or lock this. If you don't unlock this, it's not going to go anywhere, you know, unless you push on it, put some force on it, but I'm sitting in a tree stand, I'm not going to bang it on anything. So I like to leave this loose so I can just make my adjustment fast and get on target quickly that way. Your third axis adjustment, let's talk about that, is going to be right here. You're going to have, you're going to loosen uh, this bolt right here and then inside there you're going to have a screw you're basically going to drive that in or out and what that's doing for your third axis is adjusting the scope this way to level it that's going to come into play for extreme down shots like from a tree stand or downhill or uphill if you're hunting in elevation um, in the mountains or something like that you want to make sure that third axis is level uh, again we have the tetra max rise x3 where you're going to get the sight scale, regardless of whether you have the Max Rise X3 or just the Rise X3, what you're going to get in the pack is you're going to get three of these setup tapes. I just peel those off and put them on the sight wheel. And then you're going to get a series of sight scales. And these are HHA's long distance. You can see some of these 
I've got out to 180 yards. Actually, this is the fastest tape. So this would be your fastest arrow speed, 185 yards. <laughs> so if you're able to get your arrow clearance, hey, you, and you've got fast enough speed, you can get out to 185 yards with these. So you are gonna get 52 sight tapes in here. Odds are one of them is gonna match your uh, arrow and bow setup. Um, so you're just gonna go through the sight scale process. And it's, it's really simple. I like having these extra flat ones here. So if I have one on my um, sight wheel there that I'm using during the sight in process, I can just take, you know, I get my mark. Let's say it's like 45 is gonna be the tape that I need. Then I just go to number 45 and I can double check it. I put my zero at 20 go down to 45, see where my 60 are. That's what you're doing. You're going 20 to 60 yards, getting your marks there. And then by having the flat one and your flat tapes, you can check it one up against the other just to make sure that that's the right tape. Just handy to have those extra ones. So something else with all of these sites that is the same, of course, is you are going to have this adjustable rheostat cover. I am able to move this scope ring in or out this rheostat what that's doing is i can cover up some of those fibers if i'm finding that my pin i'm getting some starburst it's super bright out i can just push this rheostat cover over top of the pins and that will quiet them down or if i can't see enough i can open that up to get maximum light onto these fibers, you know, that's what you want. They've got these wraps around that you want to allow light on there and then that transmits to the pins inside. So you've got that movable rheostat cover, which is handy. I should mention also the max rise. You do get a different uh, sight knob on here versus the bolt. You're gonna have a bolt on the inside for your riser connection system, max rise comes with that bolt there. Another difference there. Simple. All right, so that is the HHA Tetra Max Rise X3 and Tetra Rise X3. Great series of sights from the folks at HHA. If you want to see all the different variations, different pin sizes, different mounting options, uh, everything, if you want to see all that on our website, be sure to click the link in the description below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click that bell to get notifications whenever we put out new videos. And as always, if you have any questions, you can visit us at LancasterArchery.com.